Hello friends, I am Rashman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lucky Soar YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn some of the basic Java interview questions for freshers and for final year students. Let us discuss one by one. These questions are very frequently asked in campus interviews or in competitive exams or in any pressure interview technical round questions. So let us discuss one by one. The first one, what is programming language? A programming language is a formal computer language which is used to design instructions that are executed by a particular machine for performing some task. The next question is, what is POP? POP means Procedure Oriented Programming Language, which is a list of instructions is given to the computer to follow in order to perform a task. These instructions are organized into groups, which are known as functions or procedures. Example programming language for POP are BASIC, PCPL, C, COBOL. The next question is, what is OOP? OOP means Object Oriented Programming Language is based on objects instead of just functions and procedures. These objects are organized into classes which allow individual objects to be grouped together. The example programming language of OOP are C++, Java, C Sharp, etc. The next question is, what is source code? A source code is a code which is written by programmer in human readable form with proper programming syntax. The next question is, what is bytecode? Bytecode is the intermediate code generated by the Java compiler. Bytecode run by JVM instead of the original mission, that is computer processor. The next question is, what is executable code? It is the mission understandable code which can be executed by the machine, that means operating system. The next question is, what is API? API means Application Programming Interface. It is an interface implemented by a software program that enables it to interact with other software. The next question is, what is JDK? JDK means Java Development Kit. It is a set of tools which are used for developing Java programs. What is JRE? JRE means Java Runtime Environment. It is a collection of libraries and other components which are required to run code written in Java language. The next question is what is JVM? JVM means Java Virtual Machine. It is a traditional platform independent execution environment that converts Java bytecode into machine code for execution. The next question is, what is Java C? Java C means Java compiler, which converts Java scores, that means dot Java file, into bytecode, that means dot class file. The next question is, what is token? Token is a individual unit in a program. Basically, they are individual words, symbols, and punctuation marks. The next question is, what is Constants. Constants are fixed values that 
do not change during the execution of your program. The next question is, what is wearable? A wearable is a memory location in the program's memory which is used to store data value or information. Value stored in a wearable can be modified during program's execution. The next question is, what is identifier? Identifier is a tag name for particular entity which uniquely identifies it. For example, wearable, function, etc. The next question is, what is data type? Data type gives information about type definitions that means type of data which is to be stored in a wearable. The next question is, what is Java? Java is a general purpose, concurrent, object oriented, class based and the runtime environment which consists of JVM which is the Java platform. The next question is, what is platform? Any hardware or software environment on which the program runs is called a platform. The next question is, why is Java not 100% object oriented? Java is not 100% object oriented because it utilizes 8 types of primitive data types named as boolean, byte, char, int, float, double, long, short which are not objects. The next question is what is class? Class is a blueprint from which objects are created. Class contains data members to store information and member functions to operate upon data members. The next question is what is object? Object is an instance of a class. It is basically a real world implementation of the class having all those property values which are defined or structured in the class. The next question is what is superclass or base class? Whose properties are inherited by another class are called as base class. What is derived class? One who inherit the properties of the base class are called as derived class. The next question is what is encapsulation? Wrapping of data and function into a single unit called encapsulation or we can call like this encapsulation is nothing but data hiding like the variable declared under private of particular class or accessed only in that class and cannot access in any other the class or hiding the information from other is called as encapsulation or we can we can also call encapsulation is the mechanism that binds together code and data it manipulates and keeps both safe from outside interference and misuse the next question is what is abstract class an abstract class is a class which cannot be create the object of abstract class we can only extend such classes we can achieve partial abstraction using abstract classes. To achieve full abstraction, we use interface. The next question is, what is garbage collection in Java? In Java, destruction of object from memory is done automatically by the JVM. When there is no reference to an object, then that object is assumed to be no longer needed and the memory occurred by the object or release. This mechanism is called garbage collection. This is accomplished by the JVM. The garbage collection cannot be forced explicitly. 
we may request JVM for garbage collection by calling system.gc method. But there is no guarantee that JVM will perform the garbage collection. The next question is what is method overloading in Java? If two or more methods in a class have same name but different parameters, it is known as method overloading. It is one of the way through which Java supports polymorphism. Method overloading can be done by changing number of arguments or by changing the data type of arguments. The next question is what is method overriding in Java? If subclass has same method as declared in the parent class, it is known as method overriding in Java. In other words, if subclass provides specific implementation of the method that has been provided by one of its parent class, it is known as method overloading. The next question is, what is this keyword? This is a keyword in Java, which can be used inside method or constructor of class. This works as a reference to current object whose method or constructor is being invoked. The next question is, what is difference between final, finally and finalize in Java? First, we'll discuss about final. It is a keyword. The variable declared as final should be initialized only once and cannot be changed. Java classes declared as final cannot be extended. Methods declared as final cannot be overridden. The next one is finally. It is a block. The finally block always executes when the try block exists. This ensures that the final block is executed even if an unexpected exception occurs, but finally is useful for more than just exception handling. It allows the programmer to avoid having cleanup code accidentally bypassed by the return, continue or break. Putting cleanup code in a final block is always good practice even when no exceptions are anticipated. The next one is finalize. It is a method. The finalize method of Java class is useful during garbage collection. So that's all about some of the frequently asked basic Java entry questions for freshers or final year students. So if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more latest videos. So thank you for visit. Have a nice day.